Today we're going to be doing a deep dive into the Chime mobile app. So if you currently have the Chime platform, then be sure to put me on your computer or something else and follow along with me on your phone. Or if you do not yet have Chime, then I will leave a link in the description where you can sign up so that you can follow along with me to learn how to best use this really powerful financial tool. All right, let's jump right into it. What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So you all seem to love this new tutorial style video. So I'm gonna to start to sprinkle in a little bit more of this kind of content. So again, today we're gonna to be looking at the Chime mobile app. And you know what that means? It's time to bring in the tutorial desk. Pretty sure you can like barely see this, but it works. All right, so if we open up the Chime app, it's just gonna ask for the face ID and then it's gonna bring you to the home page. And I'm actually using a friend's account today because I wanted this to look as close to your newer Chime account as possible because as you use the app more and have all this kind of spending data and stuff like that, it's going to look a little bit different. So hopefully this looks relatively close to what your Chime account looks like. So with the top of the screen, you can see that they're just advertising for the free cash deposit to Walgreens. So we can go ahead and close that out. And then it's bringing up another ad for the unique credit builder product but again not what we're talking about in today's video so let's just close that out so if we scroll down you're gonna see that in this case we just have the chime checking account open also known as the spending account and there is not yet a savings account opened and that's why that isn't actually showing in this app so again at the top of the screen you've got your checking account so you can click on view transactions and obviously this is just gonna show you the various transactions on this particular chime spending account but if we go back to the main menu again in this case we don't have the savings account open so if you did want to go ahead and do that you can actually do that right from your phone so if you click on that open a savings account button it's going to give you some basic information about this and then you could click the open savings account but in this case I'm not going to open an account for my friend but again something that you could do if you wanted to scrolling down from there the next menu is actually the get your paycheck early option and this is where you can set up direct deposit using the routing and account number that you see on the screen here and you're actually going to give that to your employer and then they will be able to direct deposit your paycheck right into your Chime accounts. And I'm not sure what Chime is currently offering, but usually they offer some kind of incentive or sign up bonus or something when you set up direct deposit. So definitely keep an eye out for an offer like that if this is a feature that you think you would use. And depending on how your employer processes payroll, you could either give them this routing and account number if they have some kind of direct deposit form on their end, or you can also actually search for your employer's payment provider. You can see like ADP here, for example, is a payment provider. or if you work for a larger company, you might be able to find them actually in the system. And there's actually over 30,000 different companies. So again, depending on who you work for, it might be an option, but for the most part, you can just give them the routing and account number and that should be plenty. And if we click this little drop down menu, it's just gonna give you a reminder of some of the advantages of using direct deposit. So again, with Chime, you can get paid up to two days early using direct deposit. You also get free overdraft up to $200 through SpotMe. It also has save when you get paid, which I believe in reference to the roundup savings or automatic savings tools that they have where basically it can automatically set aside a dollar amount from your paycheck every time you get paid and then also you have access to a new way to build credit which is just in reference to the new credit builder product all right but closing out of this menu and going back to the main screen if you scroll down a little further it gives you the invite friend option and chime actually gives you 100 dollars when you invite your friends and i believe it is currently capped at 10 friends per year or a thousand dollars but if you have a few friends friends that you think would get value out of the Chime platform, then that could be a way to make some extra cash. Continue scrolling from there. And in this case, I have the grow your savings option. And it shows me that with the savings account, you're currently earning 0.5% is actually really good right now and again it gives you the option to open a savings account which in this case i'm not going to open an account for my friend but you could do that through the app and now we've reached the bottom of the home screen and this is where things get a little bit interesting because it has the linked bank accounts so in this case i have a third-party bank account that is linked just for demonstration purposes but you can click the transfer funds button and this is going to bring up a really basic screen where you can tell it where you're transferring money from where you're transferring that money to and then of course put in the dollar amount so let's say we want to transfer $150, we would tell it where we're transferring that money from, select where we're transferring that money to, 
and then you just click the green transfer button at the bottom of the screen and it will go ahead and transfer that money. Now, in this case, I don't have enough funds in this account because we just have $25 in here, but if you did have enough funds, it would go ahead and process that transfer. So going back out to the main screen, the last thing is just earn more and save, make extra money and spend less on essentials with these hand-picked partner offers. So this is actually a really unique part of the Chime platform that basically give you discounts on a number of different products. So as you can see here, you've got earn money from your phone, you've got car insurance and auto insurance and other things that could help you earn some extra money or save some money. You've got wireless discounts and all kinds of stuff. So something definitely worth checking out if you do really like the Chime platform and you want to also use some of their partner programs. All right, but going back out to the main menu and going back up to the top here, the next tab over towards the bottom of the screen is going to be the move money option. And this is where you can not only transfer money like we just looked at, but you can also send and receive money to friends and family. You can deposit checks. And of course, like we talked about earlier, you can also deposit cash at certain locations. So let's start off with the first option at the top of the screen, which is move your direct deposit. And again, this is going to bring you back to the same direct deposit screen that we looked at earlier. So no explanation needed there. The next option is transfer from other banks, which is similar to the screen that we just looked at. And again, you can tell it where you're transferring from, where you're transferring to, type in the dollar amount. We already went through that. Next up, we've got the mobile check deposit option, and it's going to ask you what kind of check is this? So is it something from a payroll provider or is it something from your employer or are you getting it as a gift, for example? So obviously you've got your payroll provider at the top. You can set up direct deposit like we've talked about. You can also select other. And in this particular account, it's saying that you have to set up direct deposit in order to unlock mobile check deposit. I'm not sure if that's true across the board, but that's what it's showing in this particular account. So if yours looks a little bit different, then let us know down in the comment section. But going back out from there, the last option on this home menu is deposit cash. And again, this is basically using the green dot reload system and allows you to deposit cash at different Walgreens locations and 75,000 other retail locations like CVS, Walmart, 7-Eleven, and a few others. And basically you can deposit up to a thousand dollars per day and it says up to $10,000 per month and again you can basically take cash to the register and get it put into your chime account and that is a really clever workaround for these fully online banks that allows you to still access that money via an atm but also deposit that cash with this really unique workaround so if you're looking for a location near you where you can deposit cash, you can click the see locations near me if you want to look for one of those locations. All right, next we have the transfer money and pay bills option and the transfer funds button we've already talked about like three different times. So you know how that one works. The pay friends option actually allows you to directly send money to other Chime users. So you can just type in their email at the top of the screen here. Or in this case, you can see that I have my fiance already in here so I can select her type in how much I'd like to send. I can give an optional message if I need to, and then you can just hit pay or you can request money and have them send it to you. Going back to the transfer money and pay bills, the next option is mail a check. And this is one thing that is really important to note about Chime. To my knowledge, at least, you cannot get a physical paper checkbook. You can only have them send a check on your behalf. But Honestly, it's not that big of a deal because at least in my experience, I don't really write paper checks for any reason anymore. And if I do really need to, then it's probably not a super timely issue and I can just have Chime send one on my behalf. So I can click the send a check button. I can put in their name and all of their information. Or if it is a business, I can select that as well. And again, put in that information, how much I'd like to send, and then it'll take care of that for me. And personally, I think that it's just going to look a little bit more professional than handwriting a paper check. So not that big of a deal if you ask me. And last Lastly, all the way at the bottom of this move money menu, you have the pay bills electronically. And again, this is not really a true bill payment feature in the sense that it's an ACH transfer that is built into the Chime platform, but it is going to give you your routing and account number, which you can input into a number of payment providers in order to pay your bills right directly from this bank account. All right, but going back from there, the next tab is the friends tab, but this is actually something that we already looked at when we were on the move money tab and hit pay your friends. So actually what we're going to do next is move on to the last tab all the way in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, which should simply be the ATM map. So in this case, we are zoomed in on San Francisco. And as you can see, this is obviously a major metropolitan area, but there are so many ATMs, not just dedicated ATMs, but also a number of ATMs at those retail locations that I mentioned, like Walgreens, Target, CVS, 7-Eleven, and a ton of others. So even though this is a major metropolitan area, let's find somewhere that is a little bit more remote. Uh, let's say Wichita, Kansas. Again, there's so many of them. How about the middle of Montana? 
Let's go to Helena. Okay, not as many, but again, that's pretty remote in Montana, and there's still, like, a ton of places that you can deposit cash. So, for the most part, in my experience, I live in a pretty rural area, and I'm still able to find locations where I can not only deposit cash, but obviously access that cash via an ATM. So, in my experience, it's not really an issue, but if you download the Tri app, this might be something worth checking out to see where those ATM locations are near you. Alright, so I know we moved through all of that really quickly, but all in all, I hope the vibe that you're getting from all of this is that the Chime platform as a whole, as I've said in previous videos, is really, really simple. Now, some might say that that's a good thing, some might say that it's not giving you enough information. I will say that the desktop platform does do a little bit of a deeper dive into your personal finances, so if you'd like to see me do a deep dive into that particular platform, then let me know down in the comments. But personally, I really love the Chime platform because it is so simple, and I do know that that as a user of a lot of other similar financial technology companies, some of them can get a little bit cluttered, not only with advertisements, but really just be overwhelming with information that isn't really relevant and isn't really important. So if you're looking for a really simple platform that gives you the information that you need without being too cluttered right from your phone, then you might really love the Chime platform. And again, if you do want to sign up and give it a shot, then I will leave a link for that down in the description below. As always, if you did get value out of this content and you want to help support me, the easiest way to do that is checking out some of my favorite financial tools down in the description below, including that offer from Chime where you can currently sign up and follow along with this video with me if you didn't have it before and really learn how to best use this incredibly powerful financial tool. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And of course, thank you so much for your time. And let me know what you think of this new tutorial style video and whether you'd like to see this with similar platforms. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.